What's going on, gang? It is hump day, Wednesday, April 29th. Coach Robert here, Coach Malik, uh, and we have a great workout for you today. We're at College Hill CrossFit in Greensboro, North Carolina, and we have uh, one that is going to get you sweating and get you moving today. It is going to be four rounds. We're trying to accumulate as many reps as possible within that four rounds. Your first movement is going to be one minute of rowing or biking for calories, followed by 30 seconds of rest. Our next movement is going to be one minute of ring dips, followed by another 30 seconds of rest, then one minute of double unders, 30 seconds of rest, and finally, one minute of toes to bar, and then another 30 seconds of rest before we start at the top again with our cardio device, whether that be our row or our bike. Now, with this one, and knowing that we have a minute of work with each one of these movements, it's got a fight gone bad uh, style to it, so we wanna be smart about how we're pacing today. If we come out too hot in that first round and just try and blow it out of the water with each one of these movements in that minute, we are going to redline so fast and we are going to regret every decision we've made up until that point. Uh, so we wanna pick a pace we know we can stay smooth with, uh, whether that be knowing we have a set number we're shooting to hit, or we know that we're for that minute, we're gonna work 45 seconds of that minute, uh, knowing we're gonna get a little leeway of a break before that 30 second rest, allow us to catch our breath a little bit so that we are upholding very high quality movement as we're going through all of our uh, different movements today. So. Bike or a row, get on it. As far as pacing with that one, you wanna think as far as the, the row, you wanna pick your 2K pace and bring that pace down just a little bit. I would say anywhere from five to eight seconds slower than your normal 2K pace will allow you to maintain a uh, consistent pace to come out with. Then when it comes to the ring dips, we wanna pick a number we know we can stay consistent with. This is a movement that if we try to go to failure and we hit that wall of fatigue, it's very similar to push-ups or handstand push-ups, we aren't gonna be able to overcome that once we hit that wall of fatigue. We'd end up going to singles. So if you need to start with small sets of doubles or triples, go with that. I don't recommend going with sets of 10 from the get-go. Then when it comes to those double unders, this is a movement we should be able to breathe through and really accumulate the majority of our reps on. So this is where we really wanna push the work for that whole entire minute. Then when it gets to that toes to bar, similar to our ring dips, we hit a, a, a pick a set of reps that we are not necessarily comfortable with and we hit that wall of fatigue, it'll be difficult to overcome as we get into those later rounds in this workout. So pick a number you know you can stay consistent with. Maybe that sets a three, maybe that sets a five. It's gonna be dependent on each one of us today. So let's take a look at our movements, uh, rowing, our biking, we should all know what we need to do there and how we feel and what our pace should be. So we're gonna move right to our ring dips. So Malik's got the dips here today. And with these ring dips, these are not strict ring dips. So you can kip these if you need to. But what we're looking for, he's gonna start out in a locked out position. So a nice locked out position. He's gonna keep his feet slightly in front of those hips. As he comes down, his shoulders come slightly forward. We get a nice 90 degree angle. Then he's gonna press all the way out, fully locked out. Show us a few kipping reps. So as he kips, he'll use his knees to kip a little bit. If you have the ability and comfort level with that, you can absolutely throw those in there. How do those feel? Hard. Hard, <laughs> a little tough. We're definitely getting some movements uh, in our garage gym workouts this week we haven't seen in a while. So it's a really awesome opportunity for us to, again, work on some movements we haven't been working on in a while and to get those muscles strong. So after those ring dips, we have our jump rope. So he's gonna grab that jump rope as he's going here, he's gonna keep his chest nice and upright, his elbows slightly tight, and he's gonna be rotating through those wrists. So go ahead and give us a few double unders here. Nice soft bounce in the feet as he's going. He's keeping his legs long, his eyes are forward, and he's breathing and relaxed. He's breathing as he's going through those reps, which is hugely important. Now, if we do not have our ring dips or our double unders, singles will be the scale for our double unders, scale for our ring dips will be regular push-ups. If we don't have regular push-ups, we can do push-ups on a box or a chair if we need to. Now, when it comes to our final movement, we have toes to bar. So we're gonna get uh, gymnasty with it a little bit. So Malik's right here. He's gonna pop up on this bar and he's gonna get through a nice controlled kip and you'll notice he's gonna start bringing those feet up. He's gonna pull his feet down, getting his toes all the way up there each time. Notice as he's pulled those legs down, he opens up into that hip and he's staying nice and tight and relaxed. How'd that feel? 
Hard. Hard. Hard is the word of the day for Malik. Um, so again, that's one that we want to make sure that we're staying nice and active in those shoulders and consistent with our reps there and the number that we're shooting, uh, shooting for as we go through this workout. So again, it's four rounds, one minute of work at each station with 30 seconds of rest between, starting with a row or bike, then going to our ring dips, followed by double unders, and lastly with our toes to bar. If you are unable to do toes to bar today, we can do uh, knee raises. So Malik will pop right back up there. Knee raises being our scale option. He's gonna come through, driving those knees up. So same thing, chest comes forward a little bit, a little bit of a kip, but he's able to stay more controlled by just driving those knees up there. So give this one a shot. Post your score in the comments. Let's see how many reps you knock out today. And if you haven't, hit that subscribe button so you get access to all of this awesome um, information to help keep you guys moving as we're all making it through this. Remember, we are in it together. And as always, we'll see you on the other side of the burger.